Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition and today's video is going to be your mid-October general reading. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for all of your subscribes and shares and likes and sweet comments. Um, I'm really so grateful for you guys. Um, I can't thank you enough. It really makes me truly happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all of that. Um, I'm eternally grateful. And if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Jacqueline. Sorry, I have a little itch right here. Um, also, I've been having some allergies the last day or two, so pardon me if I'm a little sniffly throughout this video. Um, it's been off and on raining for weeks where I've been, so it probably has something to do with it. Um, anyways, all right, this is gonna be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus your mid-October general reading. Let's see what's going on with my Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am drinking wine over here though. Cheers. I'm not gonna let my allergies stop me from having a glass of wine. <laughs> All right, Cancer, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. you guys we're just gonna see what flies out here for cancer I'm hearing self perceiving perceiving prophecy I don't know if I'm saying that right but I'm hearing prophecy prophecy that's for someone out there very nice cancer you guys got the high priestess very nice way to start this reading um, absolutely you guys are super intuitive you guys are water signs um, guys and gals, sorry I say you guys all the time, someone called me out for that, but it's better than me saying y'all, I'm a Texan, I say y'all a lot, um, I don't mean it to be in a sexist way, I just, you guys, I just say that, um, anyways, um, hi priestess, you guys, your intuition is on point right now, um, you guys are feeling very balanced, um, and, and, and the fact that you guys are really trusting your gut, you're really trusting your intuition right now, and that's always a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I'm here, I'm seeing you guys are saying the number two a lot or 22 or 222 or 202, um, or 212 for some of you. Um, just had to throw that out there. Um, so cancer, you guys, again, it's all about the balance. Two is all about, um, balance balance within yourself, balance um, between your relationships with other people, with your family, your partner, your friends, your work life. You've really been working on the balance that you have. Um, you know, you guys have been really putting in a lot of work um, at your workplace, I'm seeing also, and you're, you're really starting to see some beautiful things happen at work. If you guys have been, um, working on some really beautiful projects, you're, you're starting to really see, um, the fruits of your labor is what I'm trying to say. Um, it could either be financially you're getting rewarded or, um, something that's very gratifying, something that's very satisfying to you at work. Um, think something that makes other people smile makes you happy. And I think that's really beautiful. So that's for some of you um yeah high priestess is one of my favorite cards <laughs> she is beautiful she's um the high priestess i want to point out if you guys have never um are not too familiar with all the tarot cards um the high priestess is the number two we've got zero we've got the full it's spirit it's everywhere it's a new journey leap of faith then we have the number one, which is the magician. Having all the tools to manifest whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, right? But with, uh, that was number one. And the number two uh, card is the high priestess. And the high priestess, her dress here, her skirt or her dress, I'm trying not to cover it up, and I hope you guys can see. But down there at the bottom where that crescent moon is, and she, also her crown is a full moon and two crescents. You guys are very, very much cancer affected by the cycles of the moon, especially all of you females out there, or even the males that have a lot of water in your sign if you guys are cancers or have um, a lot of Scorpio or 
Pisces in your chart as well. You guys are absolutely feeling this as well. But I'm trying to say about her outfit, like her skirt or her her outfit here. It starts all of the water in all of the other cards. This is like the start of something amazing. You guys have really been working on balance, balance, balance. Balancing that energy. Balancing those emotions. Right, Cancer? I'm a Cancer rising. I can say that. It's like you guys know that you've been making a genuine effort to stop swimming in emotions so much that it affects the other people around you because other people walk on eggshells around you sometimes when you're in a bad mood or when you're, when you're in a sad mood, right? I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just feeling the energy, right? So... But you guys have been working on that and that's beautiful and that's why you guys are receiving the high priestess because this is beautiful energy so you should be very proud of yourself cancer you guys have been working on your spirituality and your connection with spirit and maybe you guys have been really been asking for their help um calling in your spirit guides this is beautiful i am so proud of you guys Sorry, I had a lot of messages there for the High Priestess. She's sitting between two pillars. One's black and one's white. It's like you guys are learning how to live in the gray. Right? And that's beautiful. You guys are learning how to react in a more positive way when negative things come up or when negative situations happen to you. It's like you're being challenged. Beautiful. Queen of Cups. Very good. You could also have uh, another water sign around you, uh, another fellow Cancer, um, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is very much a water reading. This is very much, obviously, your reading because we're in Cancer, but this is you guys also. Um, Queen of Cups is also a congratulations from Spirit. This is like saying, I'm not a page anymore. I'm not a knight. I'm the queen. You're on the queen and king status right now as far as your energy goes. And you guys know that. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Beautiful energy. She's serene. She's in touch with her emotions. But she's not overstepping her boundaries. She's very careful when things pop up around her that she doesn't like. And even if you're a male watching, you guys know what I mean when, I, when a queen pops up. Or any female card. It's just the feminine energy. But you guys have been really working hard on when something comes up that makes you upset and makes you want to, you know, have a good cry or things feel unfair to you and you feel very victimized by something. You guys have really been checking that energy and saying, hold on, how much of this is the situation and how much of this is actually me and my energy? And it's like a congratulations is what I'm seeing. Getting these two beautiful cards coming out together. The queen here is facing the high priestess. Almost like bowing her head. Saying like thank you. Thank you from spirit. Thank you for and thanking yourself. Thanking your higher self. Of acknowledging that you're doing a really great job. Okay. <laughs> wow, all this blue. I just love it. Um, the next card that popped out, Cancer, is um, the Hermit. <laughs> I almost said the Hierophant. Um, but the Hermit here um, could be dealing with a Virgo. I mean, just look at these cards. You've got two major arcanas and the Queen of Cups. I just want you to see how serene and gorgeous and beautiful this energy is. Just take that in 
and be happy for yourselves. With the Hermit here, it's like you guys, again, it's another confirmation for me that you guys are just really going deep, going deep within and really checking those emotions, checking the way that you put yourself out there and portray yourself to the world, especially to the people that you love. So that if something is going on with you guys, you guys can still work through it and not affect everyone around you so much. Again, I'm not trying to be negative. It's just something that Cancerians need to work on. Again, and I'm included in this, right? Um, like I said, I'm a Cancer rising. So the Hermit is all about going deep, checking in deep on a soul level, checking in on yourself and really taking the time to do like a checks and balances. You know, writing things down for you guys is going to be so helpful if it's not something you do already in your normal day-to-day -day practice. I highly, highly recommend writing things down. You guys are so creative and so, um, sorry, these came out like this. You guys are so creative and so, um, just in tune and unique that there's no need to ever not be the queen of your own self to not you like it's like you're never going to go back from this point i'm hearing like you're never going to not be the queen anymore it's like you go you guys know i'm not going to be the knight i'm not even going to come close to being a page ever again very good. Um, more water. The, the hangman is here, uh, which is card of uh, Scorpio. You guys have the ace of pentacles, the hangman, and the um, page of swords here. This is absolutely beautiful, Cancer. I just am so happy for you guys, and I'm so proud. Um, I'm trying not to get emotional over here. I'm trying to keep the tears back. Um, cause I'm really feeling this very, very strongly for you guys. So Ace of Pentacles, um, you guys are getting some really good news either now or in the, um, upcoming mid October going into the end of October, you guys are really going to be rewarded The the Ace of Pentacles is falling under the high priestess. You guys are going to be rewarded and having some kind of new opportunity, a new gift, a new yeah, opportunity is what I'm hearing. It's like opportunity is there. Opportunity is there. Don't miss it. Don't miss it, Cancer, because this is big. This is going to be very big for you guys. But it's like spirit is giving you this pentacle, but it's up to you on how do you react to it, right? Um, with the hangman energy here, it could be also dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you know, you guys are definitely going to be when you get this news or this this you know this ace of pentacles moment it's like you guys are not even going to know like what to do because it's been a little bit maybe a struggle for you in the recent past maybe your financials have been a struggle maybe something a situation has happened to you that's been almost out of your hands is what i'm hearing that has caused you to not be uh, financially in a good place but here coming soon, if you're not already feeling this energy, um, when you do receive this, you know, promotion or you're getting a job or something to do with your finances and your career that is going to be this grand opportunity, it's like you guys are going to like sit on it for a second. But don't sit on it for too long because I don't want you guys to miss it. And I feel like you won't. I feel like you guys are just going to meditate on it and think about it and just be the hangman about it. You guys are gonna really take your time and see if this is something that you really wanna do. Um, and the last card that fell out here is the Page of Swords. Could be dealing with a Libra, um, with an Aquarius or a Gemini here. Um, sorry if you can hear the dogs. But with the Page of Swords here, it's like you guys, once you're done uh, meditating on this and just kind of it's like this opportunity is going to be happening and you guys are going to be seeing action and motion happening. And it's like, are you going to jump in and grab it? Are you going to be a part of that? 
I'm seeing here with the Page of Swords, you're gonna go get it, you're gonna make a decision, and it's gonna help you think in a whole new way. It's gonna help you think and manifest this Ace of Pentacles to be the biggest Ace of Pentacles you've ever seen in your life. This is so beautiful, Cancer. I'm just so happy for you guys. And if, if this is not you making the decision, I feel like for some of you, for another group of you, you guys might just hang out for a little bit once this opportunity comes your way. And this uh, Libra, um, this Libra or this other air sign, Libra for a lot of you guys is what I'm hearing, but it could be a Gemini or an Aquarius, but Libra heavily for most of you guys. It's like, they, it's like they're in your corner and they're gonna help you make this beautiful decision so that you can have beautiful blessings and abundance come to you, Cancer. So, all right. Let's pull an Oracle card here for my beautiful Cancerians. I didn't uh, cut the deck yet, but that one said, be willing to express your love. Be willing to express your love. So that was a message for somebody. Hey, y'all settle down, please, thank you. All right, exactly. Um, Cancer, you guys got the number 41. Uh, four and one is five. I feel like a lot of you guys are seeing 555 a lot or 505 or 515. Ooh, 525 or 252 is coming up for a lot of you guys as well. Um, it says do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Exactly. I'm seeing here with the High Priestess, the High Priestess is balanced and she's in tune with her emotions, just like the Queen of Cups. And in that stability within your emotions and within your feelings, you're able to now like go through this portal and go through this other side of your own self and you're able to now give to other people in a way that you haven't been able to in the past. And that can go in many different directions. It could be financially, it could be a conversation, it could just be spiritually, it can be in so many different ways. So, all right, Cancer, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, I'm sending you guys all my love. I love you guys so much, Cancer. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.